And now, from the heart of redneck country, rednecks.tv brings you all the news that's not fit to use. Rednecks.tv Howdy, howdy, friends and neighbors. This here is your old friend and buddy, Mr. A. Big Johnson, <laughs> inviting you to uh, sit back, relax, adjust those rabbit ears on the old Zenith TV, or your Johnson if you're sitting wrong, <laughs> and, and join me in welcoming my good friend, my co-host, and my favorite cousin, Mr. Huge Johnson. <laughs> His real name's Hugh G. Johnson, but we just shortened it to Huge. Well, thank you, Big, for that fine introduction. Always glad to have you. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for all the thousands of emails that we receive each week. A big thanks. And I especially want to thank all my new lady friends who recognize what the local ladies have known for years. Well, what might that be? Well, that uh, I'm the ladies' man of the Johnson family. <laughs> Keep sending those emails, and especially those special pictures that you like. <laughs> I believe you. I got some, too. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know what I mean. Yeah. Well, Big, what are we going to talk about today? Well, we got several things I need to cover. First off, we're going to do something that I like to call a travel segment. That's new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going to talk about some folks that are paying two hundred ninety nine dollars to uh, join the uh, Mile High Club. I can tell by that look on that's a knowing expression. If ever I saw one, I remember that club. I'm not a bit surprised. Well, anyway, we're going to talk about that a little bit, and we're going to talk about some folks that are using state of the art computer graphics to produce photorealistic bedspreads. Trust me on this, okay? We'll get to it in a minute. Okay. And then in our product review section, we're going to cover a little electronic device that is sure to cause grief for some folks and joy for others. And no, it's not the kind of electronic device you're thinking of. Yep. So anyway, we're going to cover those things. And then we're going to take this little electronic device mm -hmm. and we're going to show you and the folks out there how to go into a Best Buy, Circuit City, bar, airport, any place that's got TVs within sight, and with just the press of a button, shut every dang one of them off. <laughs> That'd be fun. <laughs> Don't that sound like fun? Just one simple press of a button, and you can shut every TV off in the whole place. We might have to do uh, some type of remote location to do that. Show well, I, you know what? I figure we give you one of those, you will disappear with it and take off for the nearest store. That well, anyway, fun. Uh, well, you know what? You, you I'm mentioned a, something about being a member of the Mile High Club. I, right? I'm a member, and it didn't cost two ninety nine; cost me seventy eight dollars. Get out! You're not making that up, are you? Yes, sir. Two, about two years ago, you remember? Uh, let's see, who was I with then? Yep, I think it was Ellie Jean. You remember Ellie Jean? Yeah. Oh yeah. Precious girl. Yeah, well. Uh, she was sweet, but uh, had the kind of face only a mother could love. <laughs> well, we took a second honeymoon trip. think of it, so do you. <laughs> I'm trying to tell my story. Go right These ahead. people want to hear it. You and Ellie James on your second honeymoon. We, uh, we decided to take a trip over to Branson, Missouri. Yeah. I got some tax money back this year, big refund. Yeah. A couple of red-eye flights. Tickets were $39 round trip on Southwest Airlines. Yeah. Well, you know, one thing led to another I on that red-eye flight. I before believe you. you can say, whoopee, <laughs> me and Ellie, we're back there together in the laboratory, and we're having us a, a, a good old time. Something I don't understand, Huge. Yeah. You and the missus were in a Southwest Airlines laboratory making uh, whoopee, as you say. <laughs> on a thir at 30,000 feet on a red-eye flight on Southwest Airlines to Branson Mo. Yes. That flight couldn't have been more than 30 minutes long. How in the world did you get her done, bud? Well, <laughs> I didn't say it was <laughs> fun, and I didn't say it was comfortable either. I would think not with two of you in that airplane laboratory. <laughs> but I am a member of that elite mile high club, and you know, uh, the uh, flight attendant wasn't none too happy with us, though. Why is that? 
couldn't get the door shut? Well, I reckon we set off the smoke detector. Oh? Yeah. Did it get too hot in there? Well, no. She, uh, she always likes to smoke after sex, and she forgot, kind of forgot where we were and fired one up in there. Oh, me. Well, no, folks, this don't have nothing to do with a $39 flight, uh, red-eye flight to Branson Mo. What I were going to talk about is about this feller that uh, he's a, he set up a mini airline and uh, for $299 you can join the elite club called Mile High Club. $299 <laughs> measly dollars. Only $299. And you don't have to worry about smoke detectors or flight attendants. That'd be good. Yeah, yeah well, that's a bonus. Seems that a corporate pilot named Bob Smith well, you reckon that's his real name? Well, <laughs> most likely not. But anyway, that's old, what I'd say my name was too. Old Bob Smith, the pilot down in Georgia, took a Piper Cherokee six passenger airplane, pulled out the back four seats, and replaced them with a bed. <laughs> I'm not making it up. Then he puts on his headset. Yeah, oh, by the way, and he he got the bed. He's got the uh, fancy little pillows there and a curtain, you know, between himself and the the well, passenger I'd, compartment, as they say. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, he's got a timer back there in the, in the back. And uh, he sets that baby for 60 minutes, for an hour. He puts his headset on. He calls the, uh, the uh, air traffic control people. He gets clearance to climb out to 5,280 feet. If you'll recall from uh, school, that was uh, that's a mile Three high. Mile. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then he takes the happy couple up. They go, they're back there in the back. They draw the curtain and they go about uh, fulfilling the requirements of joining the Mile High Club. <laughs> and then when the timer goes off at 50 minutes, he sets it for 50. When it goes off, they've got a 10-minute warning that they're getting ready to land and taxi on the ramp back up to the airport. Kind of recompose themselves, I expect. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, then, and then when they get down, believe us or not, this I'm not making this up, really. This... You're not, you're not kidding me. This is a real deal. Real deal. Just serious as I can be. And when they get back down, he presents them with a certificate, a bottle of cheap champagne, and a nasty sheets off that bed. Well, I guess that's probably more than I got. We got an escort out of the airport by security. Oh, but, uh, boy. That's kind of like a souvenir of... Monica Lewinsky had that little blue dress of, of her encounter. Yeah. I bet she's a member of that club. What do you bet? Well, I'm not much on bets, but uh, you're most likely right. So is, is this the only guy that's doing this? No. No, believe it or not, he's not the only guy. Not the first guy to think of it. There's another guy down in uh, Cincinnati who's doing the same thing. Yep. Got the same idea. They both give away a free bottle of champagne. They both charge the same price. And when the flight is over, the only difference is the feller in Cincinnati gives away a free box of chocolates to the lucky couple. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. And his website, if you look right down here at the screen, that's the address for his website, this feller from Cincinnati. I got, I got me an idea. Yeah? Pray tell, what might that be? You know, I'll tell you what. Me and you could learn to fly, and I think we could get into some type of business like that. You know, we need to make some money. We, yeah. We're sure not making none here. Right. But what we need to do is uh, get us an airplane, and we're going to offer we're going to offer a two-hour flight rather than just a one-hour flight. Why two hours? I think one hour would be enough for most folks. <laughs> in fact, back in my younger days, I could go from the starting line to the checkered flag in three minutes flat. <laughs> all except for that time, I forgot, forgot all except for that time I knocked myself out. You knocked yourself out? You didn't get knocked out by her? No. That's I, usually the case. I knocked myself out. Now how did you knock yourself out? Well, we was wanting to do something a little kinky. And I said, Bill Sue, let's do it doggy style. <laughs> she said, okay, and run under the bed. <laughs> and I hit my head trying to get to her. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, so, 
Yeah, at our house, foreplay consisted of uh, Velma Sue, ready, set, go. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me Back tell you I about... Want, I want to know about your idea. Why two hours? Let me tell you about my idea. Why two hours? Well, the first hour, you know, the, the people could go about their business, join their little club, and, yeah. uh, and during the second hour, what we would do is uh, pop them side windows out on that little airplane, and we'd set up, and we'd fly out and get our deer rifles out and do some coyote hunting. Let the folks uh, yeah. in the back after they're through in the first hour do yeah. the, shoot out the window at coyotes. And, uh, you know, two favorite redneck activities right there, hunting yeah. sex. Yeah, you're right. You know, that's a, not a bad idea, but it's only halfway there. What else we need to do? Well, we need to give away beer in that flight. Instead of that cheap champagne, give away beer. Then you got three favorite redneck activities. <laughs> we got beer. Yeah. We got hunting, and we got sex. That's the red next three favorite activities. Except for when I get too much beer, I get too full of beer, and then I go hunting for sex. <laughs> so uh, anyway, that's that's the things that I wanted to bring to the table. Right. What do you want to talk about today? Well, I got something in the mail this week down here. Yeah. And it's sure to turn every redneck's head. I'm all about getting my head turned. It seems that they have taken the latest in computer printing technology uh -huh. and figure out how to put large photorealistic images on a bedspread. Who tell? Now, I'm sure the missus would have been happy if we'd put some namby pamby sissy flowers, you know, or something on the bedspread, but... Yeah. You know, we've come up with something that uh, us guys in general and rednecks specifically want to see. Deer heads and antlers? <laughs> oh, uh, bikinis and lesbians. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 baby, tell me it ain't so. Take a look at this. I see what you got there. Let's spread this out here so the folks at home can see. This one here is called Sleeping Beauties. And aren't they just, mm, 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 my stars and, oh. Well, uh, these are real nice. Tell me, uh, huge, are they expensive? No, they're not. They're dirt cheap. They're $75 for a queen size and 50 for a twin. And we've cut a deal with them. I bet Bubba did that. Bubba. He's all about cutting them deals. Bubba did it. We yeah. cut a deal with them at realitybedding.com. Yeah. Right there it is, realitybedding.com. Yeah. And if you go to their website and order from their website, yeah. you can enter a coupon code that says Rednecks. Spell out the word Rednecks. Provided folks can spell. And the first 1,000 people that order will get a 10% discount. And that makes them... Uh, 70. Yeah. That, that makes them dirt cheap. Dirt cheap. That <laughs> makes them really cheap. You'll save a lot of money. Cheaper than 75 and 50. So remember, put the coupon code of Rednecks and order online at realitybetting.com. You and betcha. You can find a link at our website at rednecks.tv. And stick around because you're going to see a real live TV commercial for their product. Right here on rednecks.tv. You bet. Stick around, folks. Huge, what are you grinning about? You look like you just got lucky with the missus. Well, let me tell you what, Big. I slept with four of the most beautiful ladies that you're ever going to see in your life last night, and I you got two not. lesbians you, lined up tonight. Yeah, I know better than that. Unless you hit the lottery or got went and bought one of them fancy new furring cars that you're driving around, ain't no way you got in bed with four women. Well, I sure did. Take a look at this. Oh, you sure did. My goodness, that is a nice bedspread. They that sent us a bedspread with beauties. four of the most beautiful bikini models that you're ever going to see and a couple <laughs> of cuties smooching on the bed. <laughs> Aren't you? They didn't. My goodness, look at that. Oh, and look here. Oh, bless their hearts. Ain't they the cutest things? <laughs> yes, sir, Ree, and you yourself can own one of these unique bedspreads. Just go to www.realitybedding.com. And order yourself one of these. First thousand people that orders from their website and puts in a coupon code of Rednecks gets a 10% discount off the regular price of $75 for the queen and 50 for the twin. Well, that's a great price to start with, but even a 10% discount off of that? 
I bet these will sell like hotcakes, and you know what? What's that? Not only do they make nice bedspreads, you can make a fashion statement at your next toga party. <laughs> so, you all run right out today and order, order yours today. today. Well, folks, look who's back. It's our old buddy Bubba. It sure is good to have you back, Bubba. We've been missing you. How, uh, how was fishing down on Rotten Crotch Creek? <laughs> well, yes, sir. I was down on Rotten Crotch Creek fishing, and we were just catching them like you can't believe. The fish was just jumping on the lines. We didn't even need any steep bait down there. That good. <clears throat> that good. And we Holy were, cow. And we were really, really catching them down there at Ugly Ass Bend. <laughs> <laughs> That rings a bell, but I can't place it. Where is that exactly? Well, you know where Ugly Ass Bend is. It's right there between Saggy Bottoms and Long Dawn <laughs> Peninsula. <laughs> you, know, you know where it's at. I do know where that is. I know exactly where that is. All I got to do is look in a mirror. It's like looking at a map of the lake. Is that right? <laughs> right there between Saggy Bottoms and, and the other one. You yes, know what sir. I'm saying. <laughs> So, uh, oh, Hugh and I were talking a while ago. I hear you got some kind of fancy new electronic device that, uh, let's see, how was it put, uh, going to cause lots of grief for some folks and lots of joy for others? Yes, sir, it sure will. You know, we got one of those devices at our house. A little really? electronic. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure whose it is. Yeah. I found it there at the house one night, and uh, my daughter, uh, Sarah May, yeah. well, she says it belongs to her mama. Yeah. Well, Velma Sue says it belongs to Sarah May. It's not one of those adult sex toy things, is it? <laughs> well, I'm afraid, <laughs> I'm afraid it may be a power tool that we've all <laughs> seen advertised in, you know. But the only thing I know for dang sure is, yeah. besides it causing lots of grief for some folks and lots of joy for others, yeah. the dang game batteries keep missing out of my coon hunting life. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just terrible. <laughs> well, you, sure you're, you're not going to have that problem with this little device right here. You see that? Well, that and I found a lot bigger than that. <laughs> no, this little device right here yeah. is more fun than a stun gun at a bear wrestling match. <laughs> Gee, now that has got to be some kind of fun. I can't even begin to imagine how much fun that would be. Well, let me tell you what you do with this. It's called a TV Be Gone, and that's yeah. TV with the letter B, not, yeah. not B E, but Be Gone. Yeah. And you take it into like a Best Buy or a Circuit City or a Walmart or a bar or an airport. I've been in all of those. <laughs> yeah, I was in the bar. Just As a matter night, of fact. Down there on Rock and Rock. <laughs> well, you take it in there and yeah. you, you point this little device at their TVs. You want to take it anywhere where they got a bunch of TVs, and you can probably see the folks at home probably see the little light flash in here when I push the button. And you point it at the TVs and you just push it once and the TVs start blinking off one after the other after the other. It turns off every TV in sight. Do tell. Yep, yep. <laughs> Doggy. It does. That does sound like fun. Does it by blasting out every off code for every infrared control ever invented for TVs. They just start blinking off one right after the other. And then you know what I do? What? Well, I sit back and I wait. And pretty soon, the store manager, they'll come running up every time. I would imagine. You can give a store manager to Best Buy a heart attack in a New York second. <laughs> well, Just shutting off your TV. Shutting off right. all the TVs and stuff. <laughs> he'll come running up. <clears throat> and he'll take one look around and he'll go, what the hell is going on here? That does sound like fun. <laughs> And you wait for him to go over there and start trying to turn them back on. Yeah? Yeah, well you push the little button one more time and guess what? They start coming back on one after the other. <laughs> yeah, doggies. Well, where can I get me one of those little units? Well, I'm going to tell you. I was I'm hoping you would. You. But you know, you don't want to do it more than about three times because then you better skedaddle out of there. They'll get wise to you after about the third time. and. And that wouldn't be good. No, no. they'll put you in the pokey <laughs> if you're not careful. <laughs> we don't want that. <clears throat> but to get one of these little devices right here, yeah. they're about $20. Yeah. They're not expensive. They're about $20. They make a great stuff, stocking stuffer for Christmas. I would imagine. And you go to www.tvbegone.com. Right down there, see down there, there's the address at the bottom well, yeah. of the screen. Right there, I do right see down it. Down there. <laughs> yeah, doggies. 
and you go there and yeah. you order one. Yeah. Now, we contacted these people and uh -huh. we cut a deal for all of our redneck viewers out there. Yeah, I'm all about cutting deals. We're, we've got them where they're going to be a little cheaper. If they'll enter the word redneck, yeah. Or rednecks, either one, into the coupon code area. Just type it in. Just, just type, type in, in the word rednecks. rednecks yeah. Go to that website and then type that in that word rednecks. They're going to get a 10% discount off that $20 price. So that means they would get that 10% less than the $20 price. 10% less. Just by typing in the word rednecks. Just by typing in the word rednecks. 10% $20. What's that cipher out to you? <laughs> Well, I don't know, but it's cheaper. <laughs> I don't know, it's cheaper. Well, I'm all Trust about me, that. It's going to cost you less. <laughs> I am all about cheaper. So go to TV Be Gone and order one of these things today. I'm telling you, you will have more fun with one of these little devices than with anything you've ever had in your life. We've just had a ball. We have absolutely had a ball with these things. <laughs> i got to get one, folks, believe it or not. Now, you believe it, take it for what it's worth. Old Big, I am all about cheap but I'm even more about fun. So I think I will get me one of those. I'll just go there, type in the word, and uh, get my 10% discount, and then I'll probably go get myself in trouble. Yep, <laughs> probably will. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also about trouble. <laughs> well, folks, uh, that's just about it for today's show. We want to remind everyone that this show, as well as all of our previous episodes, are available over on Apple's iTunes you can download them right, just right straight into your video-capable iPods. Yep, go to Apple and you'll find us over there. That's right. And if you've got a product <laughs> like our little TV Be Gone here that you want reviewed, contact Bubba at rednecks.tv and we'll see what we can do about reviewing it. We've had all kinds of suggestions. People send us stuff. Yeah, yeah. So contact us and we'll see what we can do. You folks, you know, thank I've you got for a watching. Product I'd like reviewed. Oh, is that right? <laughs> no, okay, we'll talk about that after the show. <laughs> you folks have a good day, and thank you very much for watching. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Y'all come back and see us real soon. Real soon. Well, that went pretty well, I thought. Yeah, well, yeah, the, the new lights, lights are hotter, hotter than hotter crap, crap, aren't they? Yeah, they Where'd, are. Uh, where did you go? I noticed he oh. wasn't here for that last segment. I, you know, we got two of these things. Yeah. I gave him the other one. He went down to Walmart to shut off their TVs again. <laughs> what an idiot. <laughs> it doesn't take much to entertain old Hugh, does I it? I told him we'd already done it twice and they were going to catch him. So they're already, you've done it twice and he done it a third time? He's done it a third time. Oh, Lord, yeah. I hope I don't have to go down and bail him out of jail again. I am getting so tired of bailing his overgrown corn-fed butt out of jail. I know. <laughs> When viewing this film, please keep your company name and your product in mind.